So, you're thinking of buying a caravan. Of course, you may already own one and would like to see what other people do setting up theirs. It's so very easy when you buy a caravan, you look at a van and think, oh, that's nice. You have a look around inside and yes, it is beautiful. However, there are some things that you will need to spend money on buying from a dealer. If it hasn't been on the road in New Zealand before, there are some things that you must do. If you want to join a club, which I certainly do advise, the best thing to do is to talk to people, find out what is required, go on the website. The NZMCA have a marvellous website that tells you almost everything you need to know and where to get it as well. Self-containment is important. A television might be important to you. Um, having water that's important and where does that waste water go and how does it get out those are all important factors and in a lot of caravan shops and people that are selling imported caravans this work hasn't been done so you are buying usually a caravan with an electrical warrant a guest warrant and that's usually about it you have to do the self-containment either yourself of which I'll show you how it's done. You have to add a television by yourself and it isn't as hard as you might expect. Attaching the water, very simple but very important too. Um, setting up the caravan, sleeping in the caravan, have you got a fixed bed? Uh, that's a double bed I'm talking about. Or have you got two singles? Is there a piece that comes out between the singles that you can turn everything round and have a big double? Those are things that I can't really advise you on. I can only show you what we do. And once you've made up your mind, then you can start about setting up and getting the necessary equipment that I'm going to show you. Well, it may not be necessary to some, but if it is, then you can see it in this video, I hope and there may be more ones, more videos coming as well. I can make mistakes just like anybody else, can't I? Okay, let's start the explanations now. Well, you've possibly got an idea by now of what sort of caravan you would like and you will gain from what you have seen in this video you'll know what the weight of it is. It will be in between, say, 12 and 1400 kilograms. Will your car tow it? Let's find out. We go to car towing weights in here. Now, don't you worry because the URL for this will be in the listing um, underneath the video here. So just read the blurb down below and you will find this information already here. Now it's the AA website so it's honourable, towing weights and a list of cars right the way through to the end from Alfa Romeo, Toyota, Volkswagen, Volvo, whatever you've got you can click on it and then go to the type of car that you have um, whatever it might be, it might be a Toyota Hiace for argument's sake, diesel minibus 2010, 700 with if the caravan has no braking. But if it's got braking, as most of the English caravans and New Zealand ones for that matter, on the newer brands, they've got brakes. So if it has brakes, then yes, 1400, your car will tow that particular caravan. It always pays to make sure about the situation. So uh, without any further ado we'll carry on. I think the picture here is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, you do need to have the high-rise tow ball for an English caravan. If you don't you could lose it very easily. There is the plate on the base of the tow ball, which is the anti-sway side of things, 
which doesn't allow the caravan turball to be unwound. So it is more firm by having that there and it is very important. I added my own hole on the tow bar uh, for the breakaway and the cover of course to keep everything sparkling clean. This picture it's the standard uh, Alco hitch and this is it from underneath and up at the top and the bottom are where the little brake pads are that grip onto the side of your tow ball. These are pictures of the caravan feet which come in contact with the ground and of course you mustn't sink in so they are quite important. When you get to the campsite you do need to put the legs down and there are two ways to do this. You get supplied usually with the caravan a crank handle for which you can wind around and it takes quite a bit of time and effort to do this. So let's just wind it up a bit or we can put that away and use an electric drill. The electric drill you buy a socket and in this case that just fits on to there and lifts the caravan this is on the slow part. If you put it on the fast, it will do the job faster, but when it stops, it's liable to break your wrist. So having it on the slow side and going down, going down, it's actually lifting the caravan now. Plenty of power. And I find that very, very much quicker, remembering that you have four to do. All the way around the van, this has got to be done. Much more easy, pop that back in the boot of the car and you're all ready to go. Your caravan windows are very important and it's over a thousand dollars for each window. It's important that you look after them. We tend to just pull the blinds down when it's sunny but this creates a heat buildup in between the back of the sun blind and then transfers that heat and it starts to break the windows down. It is recommended that when you've uh, pulled the blinds down to keep the light out, leave an air gap at the top which allows the warm air then to come out inside the caravan and it won't damage your windows. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching some of these little tips and help sessions that I've created for you. Next time, we're going to look at uh, the water, the fresh water supply, self-containment, how to care for your fridge when you get home, and setting up the bed for sleeping and anything else that I can get in into a few minutes. I don't like making these very long videos because I know you get bored. If there's anything that you need to know, please let me know in the comments below. Just say, hey, how about doing something on LED lighting or whatever? And I shall certainly try and help you to the best of my ability. Please don't forget, subscribe to the channel. So next time I put a video out, you will get a message if you press on the bell. And that little bell down there, that tells you every time that I put up a video on the Dream Jewels channel, then you will get a notification. It's only a single email. And if you've got YouTube on your uh, phone or computer, it will come up on there as well that I've uplifted, uplisted. Oh dear me. Yes, um, I've put a new video up, I think is what I was trying to say. So for now, I'll say goodbye and uh, any comments, please leave down below and I will get back to you as soon as I'm able. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.